Welcome to the Gemsmith. I'm going to share with you a uh, my soldering station and how I work this station here for the Gemsmith. Um, I've had a few questions and I'll go through some of those questions and share with you how I work this out. Here is my, um, my it's an oxygen concentrator, which is what I use with my fuel to, which is propylene, the map. Uh, and, map. and then I also have the Haco fume extractor. So this is what I use with the Smith Little Torch. And um, I use Picolet. Uh, my crock pot that I have is a double dual crock pot. The one thing that's um, nice about this is you have two containers. Uh, I do have them separated for silver and for copper. Most of the time, actually, I don't use a whole lot of copper right now, so I'm using them both for silver, but I do have them um, labeled like my periodic table so that I can make sure that I keep my stuff with. And these are, of course, just um, strainers that have the, the plastic backing, so I don't have any metal at all. The one thing um, that I have been asked specifically about here is my crock pot and how I found it and what why I made the decision I did on this particular one. Um, most of the crock pots have a metal lid or a metal rim around the lid and I wanted to have two separate ones and I wanted it big enough that I could put a bracelet in here. So this is how I chose this particular pot. These pots also come out, lift out, and that way I can clean them easier to clean than the ones that are uh, stationary. Um, I removed the metal stripping around the edge by cutting it away. Um, be real careful because um, you can you can chip this glass. So pulling off the metal strip um, keeps me from getting any of that steel into my pot. I know a lot of people have said that they've had rust issues and also the screw can rust. I took the strip off, put this tubing around, split a tubing and put it around the edge. Then I used a silicone caulk and caulked this screw in real good. Make sure everything is extremely dry when you do that and allow it to set for as long as it says on the silicone. I used like an aquarium kind of silicone on that. So that's what I did on both of these, so I won't have any steel contamination in my pot. And um, then I made this nice wire holder in the back so that when I'm working, I can easily lift up my lid and drop it in here and let it drip right back into my pot. And it's out of my way, it's not on my table anywhere. So that works really good. So it's kind of a DIY, do your own little thing there. And I also made, my own little holder for my Smith Little Torch. I just kind of formed it around the handle and I used this paper clip, or clamp, whatever you want to call it, and it holds down real good with that. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed um, my little tip here and hopefully it helps some of you making your decisions on how you're going to do your pickle station. I've used lots of different kind of pickles. I tend to like the pickle it, but it has to be very, very hot for it to, to work. So that's also something that, that I use. So have a great day and just keep on looking for some more tips. And if anybody has any questions about anything that I do, please feel free to send us a message. Have a great day.